guys welcome back to my channel today I have a collective haul and as you can see I look different and the place around me is different I have a few updates to tell you guys to let you guys know where I have been and what's been happening in my life and yeah um, if you guys want to skip forward to see the haul then I'll leave a timestamp here and yeah so anyway what's been happening with me I finally graduated uni um, in the spring, last spring semester. So now I'm living with my boyfriend. If you guys have been following me for quite some time, I've been together um, with my boyfriend for about six years and we finally had the perfect opportunity to move in with each other. And yeah, I think it is going pretty well so far. I found a full-time job here to the things that have been getting these past couple of months let me tell you it may seem like a lot it's because the holidays just like came up and um, my birthday was also around the corner so if it may seem like a lot it's because there were so many events that took place for me to be able to collect all these things and I also have been working um, 40 hours a week so I treated myself quite generously because I, I need to do this for my sanity. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is from the recent My Melody collection with Liz Lisa are these two clips. So I just put my other clips from San Rio here. But yeah, these are so adorable. They were retail around $14 quite expensive for clips um, the regular Sanrio ones are usually like five dollars but these are special because they're from Liz Lisa they have pearls they have pearls on them and what's weird is that they only come with one each of one character and um, one complaint that I have about this is that Kuromi is significantly significantly larger than my melody as you can see um, also as you can see in the back it doesn't really hold on to the hair that well because this part is heavy and so like if you attach it to here you're gonna see that it, it wants to go down because it's so heavy and the club is not large enough so that's my complaint but other than that um, it's a pretty nice clip. It's the same material as the Sanrio clips. It's just priced $10 more. Okay, moving on to accessories. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna go through my accessories. So I have this pearl ribbon clip from Liz Lisa. It's from their winter collection. It's absolutely stunning. Let's, let me show you it correctly. It has a heart charm right there. Liz Lisa has this trend going on where they're using this heart charm a lot. It's really popular in a lot of accessories and I like it. And it has like these gold hearts right here. Really nice. That's all I can say, really nice. Um, you can take off the bows if you want. You can turn it into like a, a, a choker. But I don't think I would want to do that. Okay, the next item that I have, I bought this back when I was at home. It's another Liz Lisa bow with a heart chain, a heart charm. Yeah, this is really pretty. It's pretty big too. Yeah, it's a really versatile piece and here I have a Liz Lisa earring set it also has the heart charm as you can see there's a trend going on like I said yeah um, it also has this pearl detail and these are clip-ons so they're painful you might want to DIY them. Moving on from accessories. Um, I bought this a long time ago. And I finally got it when I moved here. So I finally got it. I mean I got it when I moved here. And it's this Liz Lisa sun hat. 
it's one of their older pieces from like 2000 and I don't I really don't know but it came new with tags by the way it's in perfect condition I still have like the stuffing in it to keep its shape yeah there was no imperfections I bought this second hand moving on from that my next piece is this Liz Lisa rabbit motif sweater I got it in pink um yeah it's one of the most pop one of the popular items from this season and yeah I'm pretty sure this is on Taobao I saw it but um yeah I got it from the actual Tokyo Kawaii Life store for full price for my birthday so yeah I should have waited but I still love it regardless talking about Taobao I wanted to make a whole video about it about comparisons to the real to real is Lisa but I might as well just show you this um, I got this from Taobao it is their Liz Lisa's trapezoid skirt and it is in a pink colorway pink yeah it is very pretty and I have yet to warm this out because it's too cold here like I said so yeah um, it also has a heart charm here I love heart charms I'm not gonna lie it has stray threads going around you see that and but other than that it's is practically like the original so yeah I'm gonna show you a dress from Aunt Cruise that I got a long time ago as well I received it when I moved here and I have yet to show it on YouTube so I might as well show it now and I forgot what the name of the print is but I'll have it here and I got it in a white colorway because I realized that Aunt Rouge's uh, pink dresses are more of a lavender mauve color which I do not like um, it's so hard to coordinate things with that so I just got the cream colorway it's really nice um, I love the what is it called triangular shape collars I have another Aunt Rouge dress that has this collar and I wear it so much it's not even like a main main piece from them it's like I got it for really cheap but I love this collar it flatters me so much I wish more brands came out with like this kind of collar I also love the elastic on this sleeve it's not tight Ong Roos usually has like very tight sleeves and you can't move around in their dresses but this one is not too bad <coughs> and it's, this is quite stretchy so I love this Ong Roos dress so much I bought it full price and I don't regret it but I can't wear it right now it's not the season but I love it so much I recommend it okay I think this is my last dress that I bought um, I got this second hand from Mercari I bought this skirt this print in blue I mean in navy and um, I sold it because I thought it didn't flatter me and I didn't like wearing navy so I wanted to search for it in pink and I found it the sleeping bunny print is absolutely gorgeous this was like one of the dresses that everyone wanted because of how detailed it was and how like do you see do you see these chandeliers here it, it's really reminiscent of like Lolita pieces and I think that's why it was so popular and like the buttons too they're stars so this is one of my dream items I saw it um, from NovaQ Novaki on Instagram and she had posted a story that she purchased this item and I was like oh this is pretty cute but I I saw Saki wear it and I was like wow I have to have this coat and I thought about it constantly and I really wanted it but I couldn't get it until I got paid and I finally got it and I still have the tag for it because the tags are so cute. Let me show you. Like, 
I know people have said that Swan Kisses items are not good quality and they're usually made from like China. Well, most brands are made from China, but like they're Taobao quality basically. But this coat feels luxurious. It really is worth the amount that I paid for it. And let me tell you, it is quite expensive. I have never spent that much on an item in a long time. Um, it is my actually most expensive item that I own in my closet right now. So yeah, um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I want to show you guys the buttons. Like, wow. And this is me from Faux Fur. Don't worry, okay? And the pockets, they have this big pearl lining right there and also on the sleeves. Um, it's really comfy to wear and it keeps you warm and I love it so much and I love the color. It's like baby pink, kind of dusty, but it goes well with everything. <sighs> I love it so much. And it also has this like very soft lining inside. It's just so well made. So yeah, if you're looking for a Swankus item that's really high quality, I suggest this item. It is so amazing. I wear it as much as I can, like if I want to look posh, you know, it's so cute. Okay, <coughs> now we're going to move on to some basic pieces. So I really wanted to buy some honey cinnamon stuff and I decided I wanted to get this item. And the ribbon is undone, but it is so cute. I always wanted these type of shorts. The only problem is that the stretch is lacking some stretch, some lacking some steering. Um, it barely fits me, but you know, it's okay. As long as I can like zip it up, it's fine. I can wear it, but it's cute. Very cute. I love it. This next item, I, as you can see, I really like brown plaid items or I don't know what kind of print this is but I got this from I want to say from Ross and it is this overall it was pretty cheap but I love it so much I worn this to death ever since I got it my mom bought it for me and I've been wearing it so much it's not a J fashion piece but it really looks like a K fashion piece which I really like and yeah I really love this I wear it so much. Last clothing piece that I'm sure you guys just seen me throw is this Evelyn top. It looks quite mauve on camera. Kind of looks like that in person, honestly. I thought it was going to be more pinkier, but it's more lavendery. So I don't have much pinks. Well, actually, it might be the same color, but. Yeah, I really love this. Um, the only thing that I suggest is if you get it is to get one of those trendy um, lace camisoles that have you, if you guys have been following like Japanese fashion trends, you see them wearing it. We have like these type of cardigans. So I need to get one because I don't have any. So I might go looking on Taobao for that. But it's gorgeous. I really suggest getting it before it sells out because everyone's having like a 40% off sale. And so my last item that is quite controversial is this Liz Lisa beret. Yeah, it's it's so cute, right? The only thing is that it's made from real Angora, Angora rabbit fur. So yeah, I plan to keep this in my wardrobe and wear it as much as I can although I disagree so hard about the use of animal fur, real animal fur. I didn't know about that until I I impulse bought this basically and I think that is all to my haul. Thank you guys for listening to me for about almost 18 minutes. It's a lot of footage to look through. And yeah, I'm glad to be back and 
I'll have my Taobao video ready um, whenever. I just, I just, I really want to compile a big haul enough to show you guys to compare stuff. I don't want to just show like two items and that's it, you know. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Until then, see you next time. Bye.